Over 14 billion pounds of garbage, such as plastic cups, cans, tires, boxes, and glass bottles, is dumped into the ocean each year. That is equivalent to 4.7 million cars. The average American produces about 4 pounds of trash each day, which amounts to be about 1,460 pounds each year. That is the amount of food the average American eats in one year. Americans use the most trash in the world, and less than one quarter of the trash generated is recycled, which means that the rest of it is left to be littered, which destroys our planet. Hi, I'm Kaylee Stack. And I'm Christian Mansalde. Our world is being destroyed by pollution. Our careless littering has built up and is now affecting the planet. Plants, animals, and even humans are being affected by pollution today. Plants are dying, and animals and humans are suffering from diseases caused by pollution. Some of these diseases are fatal. However, we are able to change this by just buying eco-friendly products. And going green can really make a difference, just one person at a time. We are here in Plano, Texas, at Russell Creek Park. Our plan is to pick up all the litter in these woods. Just taking a little time here and there to clean up around your area can really make a positive impact on the planet. So let's do it. Even in very remote places, such as Antarctica, are being polluted. There are many different types of pollutions that are affecting our planet today. Some of these include water pollution, affecting mostly drinking water and marine life. As well, air pollution can affect the air that we breathe. And land pollution affects mostly humans and animals as well as the soil, sometimes making land infertile. As you can see, there is a lot of trash around us. There's plastic bags, plastic cups, and aluminum cans. Did you know a plastic cup in a landfill takes hundreds of years to decompose? Cleaning can make the woods a lot safer for the animals that live in it. Small animals could get entangled inside of a plastic bag and suffocate, or a larger animal could choke on a piece of garbage when it eats it. Lots of people might think, this is terrible, picking up trash in the woods. But if you think about it, you can make it fun, like make a game out of it, see who can get the most trash. When you have something that you need to throw away, don't just throw it somewhere. Simply find a trash can and properly throw it away. There are many different things that you can make that can help the environment, such as making a birdhouse, planting a garden, or even just picking up trash when it's not in a trash can. Getting involved in recycling and helping our planet can be both rewarding and fun. There are many things you can do as well. For example, recycling is way better than throwing away a recyclable product into a regular trash can. According to the New York Times, it takes 20 whole years for a plastic bag to decompose, 50 to 80 years for a plastic bottle, 500 years for a glass bottle, and worst of all, styrofoam never decomposes. Now how bad is that? These are just a few things that take a long time to decompose in a landfill. However, recycling allows objects to be remade and reused, and therefore reduces the amount of trash in the ocean and landfills. Recycling reduces the amount of energy that's used, and it also reduces pollution. While landfills emit gases as it rots, Recycling doesn't have this effect on the planet. By reusing an old product, the natural resources that would normally be used to make the new product are not used. As well, there are many green products available, however, people are not taking advantage of them. And as a result, our planet is now in a dire situation. Don't you think going green is a much better choice than polluting our world? 2.4 million people die every single year as a result of air pollution, according to the World Health Organization. As well, rainforests have been disappearing at the incredible rate of one and a half football fields every single second. Over just a few centuries, the rainforests have gone down 8.8 .8 million square miles. This results in the earth losing its ability to breathe. All of this you've heard, is really does show how much our earth is being destroyed and polluted. But if we all pull together and go green, we can save the future of the earth. Cleaning the creek was a really great experience. I had a lot of fun. It really makes you aware of what pollution our world is fighting today. It really makes us see the pollution in our world 
and what it's causing. Not to mention we had lots of fun doing it. Now, picking up trash is not only it's not the only thing you can do in your environment. You can make smart shopping choices. For example, don't pick plastic. Try to get paper. Or even better, bring your own cloth bag from home. First of all, it's always a great idea to write down everything that you need from the store on a piece of paper, which helps you remember it, so that you don't have to take multiple trips to the store, which would waste gas and pollute the atmosphere. So always ride your bike to school instead of being driven, so that the fumes from your car don't pollute the atmosphere. Before you go anywhere, make sure to turn off all electronics in your house, not just to save money on your electric bill, but to protect the environment from a fire starting in your own home. A great idea is to bring your own fabric back to the store instead of plastic bags, which end up in landfills and in oceans. And what can be really fun is to decorate your own bag with markers and with glitter glue. Even the city of Houston, Texas is taking their steps to going green. In March 2013, they're banning all paper and plastic bags from stores to decrease the pollution. Supermarkets have also made it really easy to shop green, making many green products available. However, green products are held at all different kinds of standards. So we have to do our research and make sure that we buy the right kind of products. While some people are wary of buying green because they're afraid it'll cost too much, it's easy to find coupons to give you discounts on your everyday green products. There are many different types of products that should always be bought green. One example is paper. Paper is 38.9% of waste in the average American's home. If we buy eco-friendly paper, it can save trees and uses 60% less energy to manufacture. As well, light bulbs should always be bought green. Normal conventional light bulbs release more CO2 in its lifetime and use up much more energy than green light bulbs. However, compact fluorescent light bulbs release half the amount of CO2 in its lifetime and last 10 times longer than your average bulb. Clothes can be bought green. And for paying that extra dollar, you can help the environment. As for buying eco-friendly food, it's a much better choice to buy in bulk than in small amounts. When you buy in small amounts, it uses much more packaging and it costs more. Also, organic food doesn't have dangerous chemicals inside of it. Also, you should always buy food in your local community, which supports your community and it costs a whole lot less. By making just a few changes by buying green, you can make sure that your family does not contribute to the pollution of the earth with what you buy. As well, you can use pieces of scratch paper instead of using new pieces of paper, which increases the amount of paper that companies have to produce. Buying green is just one of the few ways you can help the earth. As well, you're able to make your very own pot by just using an excess one gallon container, some dirt, and some seeds. If you're a kid, you can just have an adult cut off the top off the plastic container and poke holes in the bottom so that the excess water can drain out. Then, all you have to do is fill it up with some dirt, plant some seeds, water it, and leave it out in sunlight to grow. As well, planting a garden can be fun for both kids and adults, as well as making a compost bin. In a compost bin, you throw all your excess food peels and such. Once the food decomposes, you're able to use it as fertilizer for your garden. When you normally have to go to the store and buy some, you can save money by using your very own compost. You can collect rainwater to water your garden by simply putting out a plastic container or a pot to collect the water whenever it rains. Also, there's even rainwater collecting devices that are called rainwater harvesting tanks. And you can reuse that water to flush your toilets, use it to water your garden, or in your showers, and many other uses. You're able to make many different types of crafts out of recyclable products. This book cover, for example, was just made out of a paper bag. All you have to do is cut it to the size of your book and decorate it however you wish. And this piece of art is just made out of toilet paper roll, glue, and paint. And this empty cereal box can be used to store your books for school. Last of all, this paperweight was made out of a cardboard container. All you have to do is cover it in paper and design it however you wish. When it comes time to get rid of all your old toys, you should put them in a bag and donate them to an organization who will sell them cheaper to children who are less fortunate, and which reduces the amount of toys in landfills. 
and reduces the demand for large companies to produce more items. You're able to plant trees cheaply and easily. Just find a fertile piece of soil and plant the tree. Trees are being cut down all over the world, and planting them reduces the decrease of the plant population. The earth has been polluted by our own hands, but now we need our help to stop the pollution that we caused. It's our fault that we let the pollution come this far on our own planet. The pollution of our world is now affecting both humans and animals, so we need to make a change. Just making an effort to go green can make a difference, just one person at a time. Don't just keep it to yourself, tell others. Save the future. Go green.